In today's video, I am going to give you more information regarding the very famous motherboard LA9104P. Okay, so first you come to know what the issue here is the DC is on, the basic amp is 0.004, and now I am going to turn on the speaker is connected, screen also connected. Okay, so now what the issue you can hear it's a beep issue, DC on, it's a 0.5. Amp, see the sound. Please listen. Okay, heard. So, this is the issue in this motherboard. So, solution may be very simple or complicated, so whatever it may be. But the result in this video, I am going to show you in different manner. Okay, let us start what to do and what not to do. So what is the result of this particular issues? It contains two BIOS chip. So one is UH2 has two MB file and one more UH6 it's uh, SPI ROM with four megabyte file. Now what the special in this uh, topic is first we need to check the supply once you connect the power supply. Okay, now I connected the power supply. Here is the DC 0.004. Now I will show you the pin details. Before pressing power button, will it supply will be there or not? So pin number 1, no, some distortions, 2, distortion, 3, no, 4, no, 5, no, 6, no, 7, no. 8 no now i pressed the power button so you can listen the sound okay so now i will check one by one what is the pin status here is the pin number one see some distortion happening here hmm? pin number one see now it can so it's actually 3.2 volts see again it dropped out so pin still the same status sometimes here yes, supply is coming and sometimes it won't come right so once again i will try to make it see there is no supply still one time it came and went okay next pin number two pin number two 3.3 volts okay there is a voltage again one I will check one came okay when it will get drop that we don't know now it's working okay pin number 2 again see the pin number 2 3.3 3 volts pin number 3 pin number 3 3.3 3 volts pin number 4 we ground 5 pin number 5 see some noisy Pin number 6 Pin number 6 Nothing Pin number 7 3.3 Pin number 8 See Jumping See guys Same position I kept the DSO Then also you can see the voltage How it's dancing See it's trying to make voltage and again it's Getting trapped
okay now uh2 just now i connected the supply it's a point 004 now i will check pin number 1 no pin number 2 no pin number 3 no pin number 4 no pin number 5 no pin number 6 no pin number 7 no pin number 8 no okay now we confirm so So without pressing power button there will be no voltage in any bias in this particular motherboard okay now i am turning on then i will check the voltages now i turned on see the amp it's a 0.5 amps so now pin number 1 what it will be see the dso it means this particular uh2 sp rom 2 okay uh, sorry 2 mb bias chip is constantly working pin number 1 second one second one also has 3.3 volts third one third one also constant fourth one ground fifth one no six no seven see absolutely right seven okay eight okay now we observed which bias has voltages in all pins and which one has some issues okay in uh6 we got some issues and uh, uh2 has working fine uh, there is no issues in this but anyway it has two chip so one bias has divided into two one is a 4 mb and other one is 2 mb so now first i'll do for experiment so i'll do one bias which one has problem uh6 after that again i will check the voltage sender and display also i'll check now i removed this uh6 bias and i did program see here is the present one okay which i copied from uh, this bias uh6 and this one was the old one so mother bias i copied here actually it's a 4 mb So that 4 MB I copied instead of this I taken out this original copy and this is some other uh, laptops bias so that I stored here. So what I'm going to tell you in special manner is the bias chip. So which bias had the problem? That one only I did the program, not both. Okay. it has two bias one is 4 mb and other one is 2 mb now i did only 4 mb now i am going to check its whether it will work or not see the amp now i am going to connect it connected amp there is no changes here i have connected the screen okay now i am going to turn it on so what will be the condition see So turned on. So check the screen. Still, it's ready. See the message also <coughs> we got, and we got the display. Okay, there is no beep. We got amp around 0.5 amps, and we got the display. Once again, I will turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, and again turn it on. Again, I will show you. Is there any issues with the display? No. Okay, we got the display. Now, in DSO, I will show you the pin configuration, pin voltage. Enter the ground. See the pin number one. Pin number one voltage 3.3. See, still display is there. Second 3. Three number three three point three okay pin number three number four is the ground pin number five nothing pin number six nothing pin number seven three point three pin number eight okay so this is the speciality of this video because it contained two bias one bias was faulty and other one was signal was good not bias file was faulty. That is the reason we were not getting that US six proper voltages. Now we got proper voltages. 
which one second one was uh, good because proper voltage we were getting so my experiment is i did only one bias um, it's a cut bias right so then also it's working fine now the problem got solved in this manner if anyone interested to join our plc online or offline you can contact a given number or directly message me in whatsapp or telegram okay thank you thank you very much